Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Make a double honors to the head of apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here forbear. Seek the Lord. How do you seek the Lord? Through His Word and through His men. Starting off with the head of apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. And the men on down in the affiliates. That's how you seek the Lord through his word. And he said, he says, all the meek of the earth, meaning the Israelites that are humble, not the proud. Because the God of the Bible resists the proud. And pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall, right? I'm going to read that again. Because contrary to popular belief, the Lord is not bringing peace upon the earth. Only destruction, only death, only chaos, mayhem. And he's using sleazy E, that sword, and we're going to bring that out, Lord willing, the sword of the Lord, the whipping stick of the Lord, and the so-called white man. You see, he's going throughout, throughout these different cities, these countries, terrorizing you people, man. But like the scripture say, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, least he put forth his hand to wickedness, man. So the Israelites out there that's committing wicked acts, then, then the sword is being prepared for you. The sword is being prepared for you. You remember what King David said? King David said, um, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Sleaze of evil. Let's get this again. It's all coming to pass. Judgment on top of judgment on top of judgment on top of more judgment, right? Zephaniah. But, but it's all a game, though. Keep playing games. You got Jake's on a barbecue for Memorial Day weekend, which ain't got nothing to do with us, man. Memorial Day weekend, all these different holidays. Memorial Day, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving. Your birthday, St. Patrick's Day, look, all this nonsense, man. All this nonsense, look, ain't got nothing to do with us. We got our holy days in it. Pursuant to uh, Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, let's just get it right quick. Let's just prove all things. And, and remember, the scripture say, learn not the ways of the heathen. That's what I'm going to get. This is exactly what I'm going to get. You jakes out there selling drugs, you gang banging. The, the men of our nation and the women of our, our nation are rebellious as hell. So you, you get what you deserve. The Israelites are getting done up, man. You get what you deserve. The ones at the grocery store in Buffalo, you got what you deserve. The Israelites that, that was down there uh, in Texas, you got what you deserve. Whoever perished being innocent, sh should I get that first? Should I get that first? You get what you deserve, man. Matter of fact, let's just get that, man. It ain't going to stop, man. This is Job chapter 4, verse 7. I pray. So I can remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, all these people just getting deleted off the face of the earth. Ain't none of them innocent, man. That's the thing about it. Ain't none of them innocent. Is you got all this, all this hooping and hollering going on? That's my baby. That's my daughter. That's my grandma. That's my grandpa. That's mama. That's big mama. Why? Why did they have to leave the earth? Because they was wicked as hell, man. They didn't perish being innocent. Once again, Job four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, right? And sow wickedness, reap the same. You see, look, we reap what we sow. No, no one ever told you that, right? We reap what we sow, man. Ain't none of us innocent, man. You see? That's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh by Shemir Shai, because all of us have done wrong. The Lord willing we're covered by the blood of the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. That's, that's the only way you Israelites are making it out of here. That's the only way we're making it out of here, right? Is to be covered by the blood, right? So, we we, we reap what we sow, man. All right? And every one of us is going to get judged according to our ways, to our doings, right? The Lord said he's going to judge every man according to his ways. So, let's go back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, a people before us, a place it is where it was written for us. The Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, the word was written for us, right? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, learn not, 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 learn not the way of the heathen. Who are the heathen? Non-Israelites, the so-called white man, Chinese, Duduin African, Dahe East Indian, um, musty armpit smelling Arab. Um, who else? Um, the Hawaiians, 
so forth and so on, man. Those are those are considered heathens, man. The Lord said, learn not the ways of the heathen. You got people worshiping Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, all this nonsense, man. Learn not the ways of the heathens. The Heavenly Father said, look, me and me only, and you're supposed to worship, right? Through his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh, right? It says, um, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So we're not supposed to be worshiping the sun, moon, stars, none of that crap, man. But but that's what our people are doing. That's what our people are doing. But then then soon the judgment come down. Well, well, what did they do wrong? I never they didn't do no wrong. You don't know that, man. Even when it comes to babies, man. Ba babies will be shit like that um that maternity ward. You know what I'm saying? That brand new hospital. I think it was over there in um synagogue, over there in so called Africa. All them newborn babies, you know what I'm saying, got burnt to a crisp. Oh yeah, that was a baby. Look, ain't nothing new up under the sun. You you don't know that yet. See, that's why you need to get the hell out of them churches, cause the pastor in the churches ain't teaching you a uh, crap. They ain't teaching you crap, man. And I'm just kind, I'm just trying to keep it PG. Let's get, just get a scripture proving that the pastor in the churches ain't teaching our people crap, man. But but you you pack them today. We know we know you pack them churches today. Let's get this. Let's see. I want to get that quick precept right quick. About there's nothing new up under the sun. Let's see. Here it is, Ecclesiastes. Because it, it was infants, you know what I'm saying? Probably what, one, two months old, maybe a week old. Got burnt to a crisp. The scripture says, seek righteousness. It may be that you shall be hid from the day of the Lord's anger, right? So the Lord's pissed off. He's angry now, right? And, and more ju judgments are getting more, um, more horrific now, man. All right? Let's get this Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse um, 10. Let's see. I start at 9. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. What's up under the sun? Everything that you see. Us, the trees, these different animals. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. And the scripture is going to say it. The scripture just said that there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new, just like a newborn baby. Some, some might say, look, this is, this is a newborn baby. Listen to what the scripture got to say, though. It have been already of old time, which was before us. So you ain't doing nothing but coming back. Coming back. We came back. We was on the earth before, then we got, we, we, we died, came back, died, came back, died, came back. Do you understand what the scripture is saying? Are you getting some understanding? That's why going right back to what is it? Um, Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Pr wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. So Israel is being judged. The Israelites are being judged by Yahweh, by Shem, So let's get this Zephaniah one more time. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 Seek me and search for the Lord All ye meek of the earth Which have wrought his judgment Seek righteousness Seek meekness It may be It, so like you, it may be Ye shall be hid in the day Of the Lord's anger Now people still think the God of the Bible is all love Come on man, the Lord says he's going to visit the earth With earthquakes, storms, floods And the flame of devouring fire And that's part of the Lord getting angry and, and now, Yahweh Bashim al is using this devil to get it out of people now. Which he's he been using this devil for a long time. But I, but I want to get something right quick. Let's get the book of Revelation right quick. Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Beautiful day to come out. Do a lesson through the Spirit. Look, look Lord said either be on fire, you know what I'm saying? Be, be hot or cold, not lukewarm. It, it, it's time now. There's so much going on on the face of the earth right about now. I mean, every, every hand on deck, every man with his mouth wide open. Prophesying, man. Tell my people what's going to happen before it even happened, right? So let's get this. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. That horse represents power. Red represents Edom, right? And power was given to him that set thereon to take peace from the earth. That's why the Lord's like, yo, seek me now. Because I gave this man power to take peace from the earth, and that's what's going on. And I can't really go into it too much, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to let the video stay up, Lord willing. But we're seeing what this devil was given the power to do. First and foremost, anytime you're given power to take peace from the earth, that, that means it's chaotic. 
That means it's a whole lot of deletions, so forth and so on. This man was literally given power to take peace from the earth. But oh yeah, don't seek the Lord though, right? You, you actually go into a nation of people that was given power to take peace from the earth, man. Going right back to Lamentations. I got to get that right quick. I'm going to be all over the place, so just bear with me. Just, just bear with me, man. This is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, Native American Indians, and um, speckled birds, the Israelite foreigners, as for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. Meaning that vein is empty. It's not going to profit us anything in our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. When the scriptures say, um, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're living in some deadly serious times and Jake's still playing around. Jake think everybody is their friend. Jake, Jake's still voting. You know what I'm saying? For, for better laws and rights and Jake is bugged the fuck out in the head, man. You still vote for all these things. You 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 vote for God given rights. You you actually vote for you voting to be able to just walk down the street without somebody bothering you. What? Are, are you are you serious? Still going to a nation of people that won't set up to help us. What was this dude giving the power to do? Let's see. This once again, let's see in the book of Revelation, um, the fourth, sixth chapter, verse four. Let's see if this devil was given the power to help us out. Let's get this. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4 and there went out and there went out another horse that was red and I broke that down already and power was given to him remember Job 9 24 the earth was given into the hands of the wicked right and power was given to him to set their own to take peace from the earth Start, starting off with the Rothschilds the Gettys the Bloombergs the Oppenheimers the chicken Grewers, the elite banking families right they was actually given the power to rule the earth and wickedness, you see, and take peace from it. That's why everything is morning right about now, from the people to the animals to the trees to the air. Hell, everything, man. The little ant that you don't really see, everything is morning. Because it's devil in power, but that's why people want to govern them. That's why people want, that's who you Negroes, man, you Negroes too, and you Latins too, man. You Latins, you Latins are something, man. Straight up, man, I work with y'all, man. Y'all are something, man. They, they had the choice to either um, vote for um, fucking Sleepy Joe, you know what I'm saying, or um, <laughs> fucking Orange Face. <laughs> or either Orange Face, and y'all know who that is, you know what I'm saying, um, the Donald Duck, you know what I'm saying. So instead of, you know what I'm saying, saying I ain't dealing with neither, neither of them, they said they're going to vote for the less of two evils. You know what I'm saying? Different wing, same bird. Different wing, same bird, right? And power was given to him that set their wrong to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword and, and the scripture says he's not bearing that sword in vain sleazy he is not bearing that sword in vain is he using it now yahweh bashimel shah got this man using it man so let's, let's let's read what king david said let's read what king david said this is psalms Psalm chapter 17, verse 13, and it reads, Arise, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, Depoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Cast who down? Sleaze and eat. Esau, eat him, huh? That's who King David is, is praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to cast down, man. All right? King David won't down with the Edomites, man. King David won't um, making a covenant with the Edomites, man. Like like two thirds of our people and you false prophets, y'all done made an agreement, aka a covenant with with E, man. Esau Edom. That's that's why certain things that you can't say that we can. You see, y'all y'all actually bow down to this devil, man. Bow down to this devil. Let's get it again. Psalm seventeen and thirteen. Arise, O Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Remember? He was given power to take peace from the earth. Which is thy sword, man? Which is thy sword? So sleazy is the whipping stick for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Why do you think our people can't do a damn thing about this man destroying him, man? Only thing you Israelites can do is wear a march. That's, that's the only thing you Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, the only thing you can do is march and cry and pout. You can't do nothing else. Cause if you try to do anything else, this man gonna blast you the hell down. Why? Cause his weapon, his blessing was a sword. You, you don't get it yet, though. 
You don't get it. So we're constantly praying to Yahweh Bashimah Shah to deliver us from this devil, from his new world order, from his digital system, from, from it all, man, from his corruption. You see, all, all the above. But since the Israelites don't want to turn from their wickedness, they want to keep on being defiled and all this other nonsense that the Lord got something for you. And I'm still in the book of Psalms. Oh yeah, the description say, um, it, pretty much good, no evil should happen to those that are good. And somebody can put that on the comment board. And I'm just roughly paraphrasing. Let's get this though. This is Psalms chapter um, 125. Psalms chapter 125 verse 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. See, nothing's going to happen to you Israelites, right? Least the righteous. Who's the righteous? The Israelites, right? Nick Rose, Latins, and Native Americans, right? Let me read that again. Psalms 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Who's the wicked? Sleeves to eat. Who's the righteous? Israelites, right? Least the righteous put forth his hands unto iniquity. See, all the Israelites that are out here committing wicked acts, you see, transgressing the laws of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the Lord is letting, letting this devil have his way with you, man. And look, 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 and it's, and it's only right. Yahweh by Shema Shai is letting this devil have his way with you, Israelites, man, that are out there being wicked, man. Look, men, women, and children are getting their business, man. But if you turn back and repent and turn back to your house by Shemel Shai, look, look, you ain't got to worry about this, this wicked devil. You see? Look, 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 read no down. Do good, O Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their heart. So the God of the Bible is going to do good to the Israelites that are rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of their ability. But the Israelites that are out there being rebellious, you know what I'm saying, which rebellion is, is as the sin of witchcraft, that he got this devil set up to stop you in your tracks, man. This devil is going to stop you wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in your tracks, man. Straight up, man. And you're going to receive a judgment that's so horrible. So, so horrible, man. Look, look, and, and you deserve it. You deserve it, man. Let's get this. Romans 13. This devil blessing was a score, Israel. If you don't turn back, the Israelites don't turn back. The Lord, the Lord going to let this man fry you straight up and down, man. You gonna end up in a concentration camp, man, because it's really getting ready to go down. It's really, it's really getting ready, really, really, really get down, get down with the get down. This is Romans chapter thirteen. We we'll start at one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. By Hashem Shai. the powers that be are ordained of the Most High. So Sleazy E is in power right about now because going right back to Job 9.24 and going right back to Revelation the 6th chapter, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. See, the Heavenly Father, and I'm saying, gave this man the rulership of the earth. So you got to obey the powers that be, right? Not to the point to where you take his, um, his grain of rice, but this, this devil has set laws in place that we must obey, comply to. You see, like, not running a red light, things of that nature you know you, you understand I ain't gotta really go into it you you just understand this man got laws set up you know what i'm saying that look we can't we can't break why because the lord put this man in the authority seat in the power seat right about now L listen and this listen, listen whosoever therefore resisteth the power resist the ordinance meaning the order of the most high yahweh and they that and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation man you see so, so you Israelites that are trying to gather up arms, trying to come up against this devil, the Lord set this devil up, man. And, and I just read this devil is, is not going to um, bear the sword in vain. Didn't I read that? He bear not the sword in vain? I, I read that. I read that. So that's, that's why it's time to come back to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Because his devil's job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And I want to go back to Psalms too. This devil job is to steal, kill, and destroy. I mean, and you ain't got to take my word for it. You ain't got to take my word for it. This is Psalms 140. You do not have to take my word for it. This is um, Psalms chapter 140. Um, let's see. This is Psalms chapter 140 verse 1. 
Deliver me, O Lord. King David again. Deliver me, O Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Talking about sleazy Esau, Edom, which imagine mischiefs in their heart, in their mind. Continually are they gathered together for war. Because the, the man blessing was a sword. So, so of course, you know what I'm saying? He, he wants war. Of course, he wants chaos. Of course, he wants destruction. Of course, this devil wants mayhem. And the Israelites that are down with this man's system, look, man. This, oh, yeah, the scriptures say, um, throw hand, join the hand. The wicked shall not be punished, shall not go unpunished. And then, and then another scripture says, um, the Israelites that are joined hand in hand with this man, you're going to be thrust through with the sword. You're going to be thrust through with the sword. Let's get John right quick. And I'm going to wrap it up. I got a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to bring out a quick little lesson. Never trust this devil, man. His words are smoother than all. The war was in his heart, right? This is on um, St. John 10, 10. It says, the thief cometh not. Who's, this, who's the thief? Sleaze to eat. Esau eat him. The thief cometh not. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So knowing all these things, why why are not you Israelites? Why are you Israelites not seeking the Lord, man? If you know this is this devil's only job is to steal, kill, and destroy, man. Steal, kill, and destroy. And isn't he doing that? Isn't he doing he doing that? He doing that real good. He he, he murdering everything in sight, man. He he's stealing every he's stealing everybody land. He destroying everything, he's stealing everything, he's destroying everything, he murdering everything. Look, 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 with no hesitation. Look, with, with no face um emotions or nothing, man. Just straight face, man. Just straight face. This, this devil will take you off this earth and he have a straight face. You see? And look, and he'll be he'll be ready to take out more. I am come that they might have life. That's why we need the Lord. And that they might have it more abundantly. Because this ain't living. This ain't living. We, 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 ain't, we ain't really experienced life yet. You see? Yeah, nobody ain't never left us alone. Except when King David was ruling for them 40 years. And King Solomon was ruling for those 40 years. Other than that, we ain't never been really left alone. You can't even rule your own household without somebody knocking on your damn door. Talking, what are you doing in there? Seek the Lord, man. All you meek of the earth. And I want to read this. This is Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, and read, see then that you are circumspectly. Supposed to be looking around at what's going on. Supposed to be redeeming the time, man. Supposed to be redeeming the time as the scripture has given us going to, right? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. The Lord's just like, the Lord just let this man have it. The Lord like, oh, go, go ahead now. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said, look, look, Sleazy E, go ahead now. Go, get them. Get them. They don't want to listen. They don't want to turn back. Look, 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 have at it. Have at it. Look, look, des destroy every damn thing. Just destroy all these Nick Rose Latins and Native Americans, right? Somebody didn't take heed to the words of Yahweh by Shimei so, Shai. So, so there you go. Not taking heed to you. Look, some, somebody didn't redeem the time. You see? So, somebody didn't walk circumspectly. So, so now you got judgment going by. Once again, Ephesians 5, 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. It's, it's like it's like right about now. If, if your mind stayed on ain't on seeking the God of the Bible, then then we don't know what to tell you. This is Zechariah chapter eleven verse five. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Now, how many times do we have to hear these these stories? How many ever since we came over here on cargo slave ships? How many times do we have to hear these stories? The man that destroys you, your family. I'm saying your wife, your babies. Everything that you have known and ever loved, you know what I'm saying, will get off scot free. I mean, I mean, I mean, how many times do we have to hear this story? But this is going to continue to happen as long as this wicked is ruling, and it's going to continue to happen to you Israelites that are not turning back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. It's going to continue to happen, man. Every time we turn on the news, we're going to hear about a, a case of a Jake being blasted the hell down. 
and what's going to happen when this devil go to court he's going to get acquitted then he's going to get away scot-free every time man i want to read that again zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 who's possesses so we're actually being possessed we're actually being owned people own us man sleazy eat esau eat them they own the hebrew israelites man you see remember the earth was given into the hands of the wicked who's possessed them whose possessors slay them slay mean is killed and hold themselves not guilty i didn't do it they deserved it self-defense things of that nature right so like you look look and they that sell them say blessed be the lord for i am rich and their own shepherds pity them not and who's the who's the shepherds speaking of so-called leaders man jesse jackass jackson al sharpton um td snakes aka td fakes yeah. Look, 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 all of them, man. They don't give a damn about what happened to us, man. Hell, the majority of these Pope Chavi pastors ain't even been telling our people that we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. And that the Lord is coming back from us for us, and they're not even telling our people to turn from their wickedness. They're telling our people that the laws are done away with, and just, just live a crappy life. Just do whatever the hell you want to do. Just bring me some money. Nah, man. You, you, you pastors are supposed to be telling our people to seek the Lord, man. Cause, Cause this devil sleeps eating, you know what I'm saying, is a whipping stick of the Lord. Oh, I wonder why, why is this happening? We gotta march again. We gotta do, why, why I don't know. Why is this happening? You know why it's happening, man. You know that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You know this devil is a wicked. You know he's ruling the earth. And as long as our people continue in their madness, you know what I'm saying, the Lord's gonna use this devil to take them out, man. And these pastors know that, man. You think they don't know that? Yeah, they know that. The scripture says, and their own shepherds pity them now. Nah, people, these pastors don't care if our people get blasted the hell down by this devil. As long as they're getting that check. As long as they're getting that check for signing that on um, 501c3 charter. And basically, this lesson right here is like, yo, turn back to your Bashim Bashimi was shy and live. Because this devil bears not the sword in vain. This devil's using his blessing, man. And for the Israelites that don't take heed, he's going to use his blessing on you, man. So just a quick little warning through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah. I'll shout the scripture say, never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness, man. This devil going to pretend to help you. But the end all, be it all, he's going to destroy you, man. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine you, Jake. Like I said before, it's a quick little lesson through the spirit, man. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, you know? This devil using that sword, man. And he's not using it in vain. Shalom.